I've got a couple of questions coming in from the audience here, actually, uh, that I was going to touch on. Um, where are we? So how do you think the U.S. is starting to recover versus other countries and regions? Uh, the U.S. is starting to recover, uh, and uh, Carolyn pointed to it, uh, drive market, the outdoor market. A lot of the Adara uh, research shows that areas like uh, the, the Pensacolas, the uh, Norfolks, uh, the San Diegos are, are coming back. Uh, uh, some of the uh, Myrtle Beach, uh, when I was making calls to CEOs of uh, destinations, uh, the CEO of Myrtle Beach was the first one to say, we're up over last year. And mm -hmm. so, so we're recovering and we're recovering regionally, drive. Uh, the, the big problem we have though, and uh, when Carolyn talked about business coming back, the big problem we have is corporate travel policies. What happened is as soon as COVID started coming out in March, people asked their companies, do I have to travel? Do I have to go to a meeting? I have a feeling the, the HR department went to the lawyers and they said, easy, tell them not to travel. We can't get sued that way by asking them to do something. So almost every company in America has a very restricted travel policy. So we've got to show that the industry is coming back, that it's safe for their people to travel and turn that corporate travel policy around. And then the last thing is meetings. Uh, we've got governors that are saying, no, no gatherings more than 50 people. Well, 50 people in a, in a phone booth is a lot different than 50 people in a major convention center. And we've mm -hmm. got to get people to understand we can space people. When I'll, we had that meeting last week I talked about and it, was, it went off perfectly with a few protocols in place that we had never done before, but the meeting was perfect. But we've got to get people back meeting and last will be international. And first thing we've got to do is got to reverse the countries that can't fly here and we can't fly there. Uh, and that'll happen in reverse order of when they went in. Uh, probably Canada, Mexico, then EU, U uh, UK, then finally Asia. And, uh, and that'll be the last to come back as international. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, I've just got one more, a couple of points about the, the video. So we've had a lot of comments saying that they all love the video, which is great. Um, Asking when uh, it's expected to be released and will it be countrywide? Did you say September 8th as a release September date? September 8th, we're going to start. And uh, again, I won't go into so much detail. If people want to tune in our webinar after this one, they can. Uh, but it'll be it'll go in phases. So we'll go after September 8th and we'll run up close to the election. And then, the, then there's no sense in the advertising promoting during the election because uh, TV is going to be berserk with horrible election ads. And then we'll come back in uh, after the election, probably through uh, first week or so of December, then we're, we'll go dark uh, because of retail advertising and all that. And then we'll come back in in January. Uh, so we're, we're looking at uh, kicking off the 8th. And uh, the most important thing, though, we're watching very carefully. And the numbers that you're giving us and other sources we go to, we don't want to be tone deaf. We don't want to launch and, and get a, a backlash of, are you crazy? Why should people travel when there's spikes going on? So that's why this is being pushed off till after Labor Day, which we think is the right time. And again, we're going to talk planning. And uh, as you said, when the heart is ready, we'll be ready. And that's, that's the most important thing. So mm -hmm. this fall, you'll see it this fall. And we're, we want everyone in the industry to get involved a little bit, a lot, you know, the big players. But we've got to fund this thing. It takes money. Otherwise, it, it, you and I will be the only ones that have seen this and the people on this webinar. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely.